All right, it's been a while since I did a live stream on YouTube, but here I am playing some Star Trek Online. Welcome, one and all. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, those that are neither and those that are in between. I am the sarcasm detector, as it says right there up above my head. I'm also known as the lowlife cat, and I am a cat. I'm a cat boy, a VTuber, and a variety streamer. Sometimes I'm a cat. <laughs> Today I'm a cat boy. And uh, I like to do chill and calm streams. I like to think of my streams as the nice quiet place on the internet. And you know what? Today I really hope that the closed captioning thing is working. Let me, guys, let me know guys if closed captioning is working for you. I have it turned on. I am... I can't actually see if it's working on my end or not. Uh, well, well, we'll see. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so today we're going to be playing some Star Trek Online. I might do a little bit of things on my main here. But I do want to work on some of my alt. I don't know if I'm going to do work on Janetta, the Delta recruit. She is level 55. She needs some new weapon. And I might log in and check that out, see if I can get her some, some buy some from the exchange for cheap or something. She's currently currently running Mark 10s at level 55. She should be running Mark 12s. I can't send her any of the account bound Mark 15s that I have because I believe you have to be level 65 to run Mark 15s. I'll also be playing a little bit on FU. And maybe I'll take a look at my Klingon alt, my Irish Klingon. I haven't played on her for a while, so we'll, we'll see how she is set up. But first, let's log in. And check some things out. How are you guys doing? How is your... You don't see anything CC-wise. Perry, how you doing? Good evening to you too. Well, there, okay, so I guess the CC is not working. So on my monitor, it looks like it's showing up at the top of the screen. Is that, is that it really? Okay, weird. We'll, we'll just go with that. It might not be compatible with YouTube. I'll have to find some other other way of getting that up and running. Any event, let's uh, let's talk first. Actually, uh, defeat Dolians on the ground. Easy harvest materials on the ground. Ah, oh, for F's sake, really. I don't like that. Hull healing in space. That should be easy. Oh yeah, it works fine for for Twitch. Uh, it's just I need to find a uh, somehow to get it to work for YouTube. YouTube, in any event, after you've completed a stream on YouTube or when you're uploading a video, it will automatically process that and embed the embed the uh, the closed captioning after a period of time. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. But eventually that does work. And also you can, I, I'm not that rich. You can probably hire a closed captioner or find like a, there's, there are softwares that will, will do it. Output it to a text file or output it to a URL. And then you embed that. But I, 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 uh, <laughs> I prefer free options. Let's do a refine. And what kind of weapons should we get for Janetta? Maybe some phasers. Some of the 30 second phaser beams are they. Well, let's check. How are you doing? Oh, they're they're kind of cheap, cheap. Well, hold on, these are cannon. Kinda... 
Phaser beams. Oh. Okay. Well, the mods don't really matter. Ah, these are the refits. How much cash do I have? Eight mil. And how many beams do I need? She's running eight weapon slots. One is a torpedo, the other is a prolonged phaser. So six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was a mark, damn it. Uh, it's going to be Mark 11s and 12s. Okay, that's fine. It's still better than what she has. I'm able to make that purchase. Be that. So we try maybe a uh, seven and get rid of the prolonged phaser, or make it all look the same, or like thematic. Yeah. Do we get that? Yes. So Mark Elevens and stuff. How much did I spend? Uh, about four mil. Okay. How are you doing tonight, Donkey? I hope you are feeling well tonight. Elite queue. When did I do an elite queue? Oh, was that on queue stream earlier today? Probably, probably. Okay. Do I go for this first? Olean's on the ground. Where am I at? 13? I, yeah, I guess I can do the harvest materials on the ground on one of the alts. All healing space. Maybe I'm one of the alts too. Um, no, we will switch character. Or maybe I'll do it. Just woke up. Oh dear. So is it some kind of allergic reaction? Yeah, you don't have to tell us anything, by the way. The lack of caffeine, though, that, that's a terrible, that's a terrible, terrible thing. The caffeine withdrawal, man? Jeez, man. Cancel, yeah, so actually, I can head closer to there, but... Hitting spin the wheel. Going to Nukara. Just gonna punch some Tholians in the face real quick. So they they broke the the Janeway again. Uh, is there an angle I can show you this? This might be a good angle. So you see there, yeah, the pivot point is back under the nose here somewhere. They broke it again. It was fixed at one point, not too long ago, actually. Maybe a couple of weeks ago, last week, a couple of weeks ago. Or maybe even three weeks ago, they fixed it, but then it, it broke again. So maybe we have to tweet at uh, Thomas. I might have to, yeah, 
have to send Thomas a tweet again. And that makes the game literally unplayable. Look at that booty, look at that booty. So again, guys, I hope you're having yourselves a good evening. I got some music by Sphinx playing. Sphinx is a, another SEO, uh, SEO streamer. He does play a couple of other games here and there. I think uh, last time I saw him stream, he was doing a flight simulator. But a very talented artist when it comes to, to music as well. And a general all around nice person as well. A nice cat. He's a cat also. Although he looks human sometimes. Do not be deceived. He is actually a cat. You're just done doing a KDF colony sim. How are you doing, Atreus? How did... I was punching this guy and this guy died. Okay. It's one of my traits, isn't it? It's the Tal Shiar trait. Shark trait that's saying that. Need them for fleet marks and provisions. Oh, is that is that why you're torturing yourself? Does, does this colony sim, does the colony sim count as uh, masochism? Is that, is that purely reserved for gravity kills on elite? to kill 60 we have to kill 60 of these guys okay well something satisfying about punching aliens in the face and killing them Heck of fun, but okay. I haven't done the colony sim a lot, actually. It it came out just about the time I I burnt out of SEO a few years ago. Gas. I know someone burning out of SEO. How could that happen? So I never really got into that. Plus, I'm not really the greatest ground player. So it's not one of those things where you need, you absolutely need to have coordination. So it's not something that's huggable. I shouldn't say capable of being pugged. I should say, uh, should it be pugged or not?
Dreadnought Gauntlet. Dreadnought Gauntlet is the one that's almost the same as uh, uh, what was it called? Um, There's are two uh, TFOs that are almost exactly the same, where you have three stations and you have to guard against stuff. Is that Pav? Pav? Pavo, thank you. That, that TFO is so great. We got it. We have it twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. more. Oh, what's the difference between those two TFOs anyways, apart from the type of enemies that you get in each one? Oh, did you just spawn in? the one class I haven't really played much of. I have a lot of tacticals and I have a lot of science tunes. But my engineering <laughs> my engineering tunes are a little bit lacking. Wait, you survived? He, he, he pulled off a hunter trick there from wow, feign death. It's kind of interesting because I remember the the devs talking about uh, having limited slots for TFOs and even about removing some TFOs to make room for new ones. Oh, there's a couple right over there. So I, I kind of find it ironic. We just have we have like a, a TFO that has that's basically the same TFO, the same mechanic, everything except for the type of enemies that you have. Did, did they notice me? Don't, don't notice me. No, they did not notice me. Good, good, good. And actually, we got the perk point, so yay. Spend the perk, sprint speed, projectile weapon damage, and crit severity. And ground sprint speed. 
Mm. I like the ground sprint speed. I do. I, I, I like to go fast. Oh, there's nothing wrong with having more damage in space, though. Either of these is really good. I'm gonna get this sprint speed. Alrighty, we're gonna switch characters also. Sure. Let's go for... I just want to take a look here what the, where I stand on my Klingon recruit. I haven't logged into her for a while, actually, so I gotta, gotta f oh, things are popping. Fear R&D. What was I doing? Bonus engineering. Engineer. Nice. Okay, we opened up another slot. So we have four slots of R&D. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we need? Maybe science, actually. Science would be a good one. Can I get another one in? No. Okay, that's fine. Assets. We're fine. Oh dear. So, reputation. Hey, where'd that go? Hey, I have been plugging stuff into her, so we need Iconian, Terran, and stuff. Her discovery is pretty good. Stations on this ship. Oh, this is actually kind of good. What am I running here? Oh, these are my Terran targeting. Tar targeting linked disruptor jewels. That's where they went. They're kind of they're kind of okay. A quantum torpedo, just a basic quantum torpedo. What is that? Is that uh no that's just okay, really basic stuff. Alright, uh let's see. Experience. Spend 30 specialization points. And that's the melee kills that I still have to do. Okay, so that is partisans. I won't do it live on stream because that's a pain in the ass. I do have the that uh, let me see endeavors uh, and that's admiralty and then there is the uh, and of course uh, it's like the, the the tfo one and the deeds worthy of song episode playthrough for a Yesterday's war. So there is future proof and forward. Can't wait to do gamma all over again. I have not. That is uh, that is one recruit that I have not even started. Not even started. Actually, that might be a thing. Uh, let's see what kind of gear does she have. Stealth operational. Let's sort that for a sec. Stealth operational. Uh, white shield. <laughs> I do have the mind melt device. The Mark 9, really? So I, I need to get some better gear for her, for the ground. But I guess she's just really good at punching stuff. In that case, 
want to have. I do have some reputation. Okay, I do have some. So, we'll discover. Gravity containment unit. Mud's time device. So I don't have the armor yet, but I do have the shield. Eh, I could, I could possibly. Actually, it's not a possible. Reclaim ground equipment. Uh, we can grab the four piece out of this. Yeah. Imperial shield generate. Our Imperial assault personal shield generator. Imperial shield generator sounds like something from Star Wars. KDF one this time for the uh, for the gamma event. I don't know who you are, David, but that's fine. It's a random friend request. As long as you don't start sending me like random uh, PvP invites and stuff, there are, there are people that still do that. Uh, so I was thinking of going on. Doing some stuff on FU, FU, but I guess I could do it on this character. That works. Okay, no, that works. Oh yeah, I had a trait box crap out on me. Okay. Ha. Speaking of which, uh, uh, full disclosure, I did send Kale a message request about stuff. We'll see how that turns out. Let's head back to uh, Quono. So I want to do. I want to. No, nah, I don't. Let's let's dive into it. Let's start actually doing some missions. Star is Stormbound. Is that the first one? Episodes. Future proof is where we are. Yeah, we, okay, we're we're in the middle of this particular one. Tholians. Time and tide, temporal front. This is actually good. We can get through these later missions a little bit, cause uh, to be honest, I'm kind of sick of doing these initial missions. Like making a new new character and going through these guys at the start again and again and again and again for multiple characters. I know some of them have been redone and like the Cardassian story arc. This used to be so bloody long. Uh, Romulan Mystery used to be so bloody long. They added this one, but there was the uh, the Federation one. They were, they were talking about it yesterday on stream. That used to be a really long arc. Some of them are still here, but a lot of them are gone. Any event, let us let us do the transwarp again.
By the way, I did. Uh, I was looking at Steam, and I noticed that um, the update, the big update for Transport Fever Two, is coming out in a few weeks on July eighth. So I'm kind of interested in that. And um, I'm, I, it looks like uh, we should be capable of testing it out before it goes live. So I'm going to check that on Steam and I might do either on Twitch or on YouTube uh, more Transport Fever 2. We'll see how that goes. I, I'd have to reinstall it, but... Yeah, it just says my chat is disconnected. Oops. Good to see you again. Thank you for responding to my message so quickly. The Tholians have the quantum phase inhibitor. I've tracked their ship to this system, and I'm detecting some telltale quantum fluctuations within the star. They're trying to use the device. We need to stop them and recover it. First, however, we need to help the Nakul. At this point in their history, they're not prepared to repel a Tholian attack. Uh, that's true, Etrias. Um, I am of the same opinion, but sometimes for like streaming purposes, just to have some content, I like to go through some of the older stuff while I'll redo missions just as like story kind of thing, especially if, if the stuff has been updated. It's kind of neat. Let's switch to that. All right. On screen. Unidentified vessel. You have entered our space without authorization. If you are an ally of the Tholians, leave now. We have done nothing to provoke their attacks, but we will defend ourselves. We will render any assistance we can. What do you need? Thank you. My people have few warships. Any assistance you can provide against the Tholians would be appreciated. Consider it done. Some things are different here. Does the, the like the, the wind up sound for the warp and then just kind of saunters the away at impulse? The quantum phase inhibitor, they're going to use it on the star. We have to stop them, board that vessel, and get it. me in the web this time. the flagship oh there it is let's 
get into this. How dare you? That's uh, such a beautiful star, and you guys messed it up. Missing someone here. Do I, do I only have the one engineer? <laughs> okay. Apparently, I have the one engineer. I should have. Wait, sign. Oh no, she's there. Alonu. The color doesn't match the other. But then again, Kagan. Like, yeah, what, what, what the hell are you doing, Kagan? Uh, let's accept that. The chagrin. We've docked with a Tholian ship. The good news is that my scans indicate the quantum phase inhibitor is on the bridge. All we need to do is go get it. The bad news, the Tholians come from an environment that is extreme. Don't forget to equip and activate EV suits before you board the Tholian ship. Okay. Okay, uh, who do we have? Bellara. I don't know where Chagrin is. Eating grin the Klingon. <laughs> that that's uh it's kinda accurate actually. Ooh, that's that's shiny. Okay, that that's that's a that's got to be a glitch. Really, that's holding us up as well. Bloody hell! Tholians, just as xenophobic and opportunistic in your time as mine. Long way. Hold on. I gotta fix something here. Much better, much better. I like to actually see the mini map, and that's Quint. Enemy targets on sensor. Flanking damage detected. Personal shield losing power. What I did, gotta do melee kills, right? And since I have to do melee kills, you know what? I can't switch while I'm in combat.
we'll leave that on. Okay. We have to be getting closer to the Tox Utah. Stay alert. The reason I got this thing from the discovery set is to make the melee kills easier. Here I am again, punching Tholians in the face. Again, it is very, very satisfying. The bridge should be just ahead. Now we just need to drop that force field. Get the quantum fix. Lord of Force. After you got the kills. <laughs> of course. Finally, we have the quantum phase inhibitor. I brought this to. After the fact is always the best fact, right? Opening a temporal portal to the 22nd century. Set a course for the Ryza system. And yeah, this is this is a silly part of the mission. Around digging holes on Arisa. And that looked like Earth in the background. Actually, it looks like we warped to Earth. Ryza, early 20 seconds. Wow, rain on Ryza. I guess they haven't installed the weather control systems yet. that out of the way. Time to dig -de some holes. We have to hide the device very well. I can't afford to let it fall into the wrong hands again. And the Vorgons are very persistent. No, that's too obvious. Anyone could find it there. That's better, but I still think it will be too easy to find. Um, I'm a Klingon, and I'm digging a hole. Dig, diggy hole. Dig, diggy hole. That's it. Some... I'm sorry about that, guys. I couldn't help it. I'm not really sorry, though. Setting course. For 2410. No. We need to get back to the Nakul. Return the talks with Tap, and we will let you live. 
You're gonna let me live. We no longer have that device. We've hidden it where you will never, ever find it. And time to kill them. Bye now. This is Captain Walker. You, you can stop shooting now. We are responding to a temporal you, you can you can stop shooting now. Happy much. <laughs> yeah, this is just wasting energy for you know warp cores don't grow on trees. What did you do? The trying to be a stubborn mistress tonight. I'm sure that will be a great comfort to our citizens as they freeze to death. It's probably just a little bit too chilly in space and she she wanted to warm it up, maybe. Actually, Patron is not even not even there. You have done quite enough. Patrias, you have yourself a good night. This is Captain Benjamin Walker of the USS Postdoc. I'm responding to an emergency temporal transmission from the space time. I think you better come aboard. Greetings. It's nice to see you again. He am definitely not a dwarf. Unless uh, Captain Walker is like a gnome or something. Not that you remember. We need to scan the continuum. Scan the continuum. Were you able to locate Caldano? Enter the temple. buttons because he can't do it himself I guess that something just keeps us engaged ah oh, poor Caldano what happened with Cal no he's this dead was meant to happen Caldano went further back altering the past caught you could yeah that's too much <laughs> Too much dialogue, let's go. You're talking too much, I apologize right now. Um, yeah, we'll just pick something at random. Not gonna use any of the quantum well. stuff. Next up should be contacted by the Federation from the 29th century. Their temporal integrity commission is charged with protecting the timeline from factions who might want to change history. Considering our recent experiences, we feel the need to better understand the rules of time. Yeah, so yeah, okay. Empire well. Delta Quadrant. New Kittimer is in the Delta Quadrant. Interesting. Does it actually show up on the map? Can you system? Okay, and you kid immersed in Kanye. Q. 
Ki uh, Kiana system. Sorry, Kanye. That's okay. Whatever. Gah. You know what? Just that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to mess with that. Please report to the USS Postdoc. It's a pleasure to see you again. I'm glad. A temporal agent now. Are you ready to visit the future? Aren't we always going to the future? Velociraptor wants to know. take a very very quick break to stretch my legs it's only going to be a couple of minutes going to drink some water use the bathroom and whatnot but i will be back remember there's no this is youtube so there's no commercials or anything like that oops we will leave you with this guy with this image here i will be back in a few minutes guys don't go anywhere <laughs> 